It's been a long time. How have you been? Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome to a Ray video. Wow, this guy uploads. It feels like it's been so long since I've done it and understandably so. This video I wanted to update you guys on quite a few things that have been going on because for one I feel like there's gotta be someone out there that's waiting for an upload. I'm sure there's some other people that are just like Who, who's this guy? Why am I still subscribed to him? Is he washed up? Like what's going on? I feel like this video is just gonna be one of those ones where I talk to you guys about a lot of things that I haven't really talked about much in the past or I haven't made as clear as I should have. For one, competitive, uh, we just finished the first season of RGL and we ended up placing second. I actually did submit a clip uh, for top 10 plays of the month for that, so hopefully that gets in. If it doesn't, well, you know, maybe next time. Uh, that's really always been a goal of mine to end up in the top 10 plays of the month. I don't know. I used to watch it a lot back in the day and playing with x time and playing on his team is definitely something that if you were to tell me that like a year ago that that's what I'd end up doing, I definitely wouldn't really believe you. Um, I mean, YouTube so far has just been a blast. I felt like I've met so many incredible people, uh, obviously Uncle Dane, Funk, all these just amazing people in the community. Snow, which was a really big inspiration to me, he recently uploaded a video saying that he's gonna be pretty much almost quitting TF2, which I don't blame him. And this is where I want to start the discussion. I know a lot of people are gonna be like freaking out saying, wow, are you quitting? Like, what's going on? I don't really understand, it doesn't make too much sense because you recently got in the competitive, why would you quit now? Like, why would you do that? Here's my thought process with TF2 right now. It's definitely not one of those games that I want to say, hey, like, I want to quit because there's no point in playing it anymore. But the reality of the situation is that it's a game that I'm kind of looking back at now saying, is this game going to be going anywhere? Are we going to be seeing any improvements? Obviously, there's a lot of hype around the Pyro update and a lot of people are saying that this will either make or break the game. So I might as well sort of give my thoughts on that. I definitely feel like Valve has fucked up a lot in the past. Matchmaking was a game mode that I really was really invested in. I feel like matchmaking was my introduction to sixes. Like this is what sixes is. Obviously at the time I didn't really know. Um, back in the day I used to play TF2 center and I kind of stopped just because I thought that the whole community around that was very intimidating uh, and understandably so. I feel like it still really is. I've had a lot of times where I played Highlander and I just kept fucking up as Sniper and that still kind of gives me PTSD of where just I, I just don't want to play Sniper in Highlander. Uh, RGL, which is League for Sevens, uh, was also pretty difficult because um, we constantly had to face really good snipers, especially on this team that beat us in the finals, uh, the news. Kiosk is an amazing sniper and Fallen is just an amazing spy. Um, and I gotta give them props for that, uh, shoutouts to them, they're very good players. But I feel like comp for me was always something that I wanted to get into and I just never felt like I was good enough. Which is ironic because if you go on sites like Face It, there's always gonna be new people that you're just gonna be wondering like, wow, like how did this guy even find this website? He's so bad and you shouldn't be playing. There's obviously a lot of toxicity in competitive and I'm not gonna deny that I am one of those people that sometimes calls others out for like how, well like, how did you miss that shot, dude? That's, that's so easy. Just get off sniper, let me snipe. Sometimes I do kind of boast. I say, hey, I'm a plaid sniper. But at this point, I feel like with my skill level in TF2, I feel like I'm good enough and I don't really have to get any better for my own self-fulfillment. For a while, I've just been playing competitive. I pretty much stepped away from the casual scene when casual was introduced and when pubs were killed. I feel like this is a concept where I've really tried to distance myself away from the fact that Valve is really killing TF2, but the truth is, they've killed a lot of what I enjoy about the game. I remember years ago when I used to play pubs with one of my best friends, Hero Car. We used to go on like Sniper v Sniper servers and play MGE all the time with each other, play b-ball, like that was just crazy fun. And I feel like those were the times where I really, like genuinely at its heart, 
I really enjoyed TF2. It was something that I could go on a pub and just have fun. And nowadays, I feel like the reason casual just really ruined it is because they completely fucked up auto balancing, which is a big part. Like nobody wants to go in a server and have no players there. Obviously that's a big turnoff and you just want to find a new server. I feel like the queue time is just longer. It has gotten better obviously, but I just feel like a lot of these additions were just so unnecessary, like Valve killing their own game. Right now, with streaming, I know the last time I uploaded an update video, I talked about streaming and how I really wanted to focus on that. Well, right now, I really can't stream TF2 anymore. Like, I can't get myself to stream it, and I know a lot of people won't really get where I'm coming from, but basically, casual just isn't fun for me anymore. I feel like I'm good enough, and if I go on a casual server, I just won't have fun. It is one of those rare occasions where, yes, if I'm playing with friends, I'll really enjoy myself, but otherwise, there just isn't much to get from it. And streaming it, nobody wants to see that shit, or at least I don't think most people do, because I'm not having fun, and if I'm not really having fun, then I can guarantee you the stream is going to be boring. Uh, and that's something I've become really self-conscious about, just having boring streams. And uh, I felt like I wasn't entertaining enough to stream, which is why I've kind of put it on the back burner. Yes, I could be very wrong about that. I know some people will probably say, like, hey, don't put yourself down, but that's just how I feel about it personally. And streaming pugs and face it, you'll have these games where it's either going to be a roll on your side or you're going to get rolled. Very rarely does face it actually have balanced games. And now it's just annoying because there's a bunch of people that either perma snipe or don't know how to play the game. And it's just not fun. Simply put, I feel like at this point, TF2 isn't a game that's worth getting better in because the game doesn't really have much of a future. And I hate saying that, but the reason I say it is because TF2 is getting killed by Valve. The Pyro update is really the last hope, but I really don't think they're gonna pull something great and make matchmaking amazing again, because for one, it never was, and sites like Face It and TF2 Center don't do all that much of a good job anyway, and if you're talking about pugs, which is what matchmaking is, just random people thrown in a server even if those people are experienced there's still gonna be issues like throwing and I've experienced it firsthand so I don't even know what to say man I just I don't feel like Valve is somehow gonna find an ingenious way to make things better they just won't I've always personally enjoyed new maps being added I know like when they actually used to add new weapons contracts was a really big thing that I think it was in the love and war update that they added those like that's something that gave me incentive to play the game but right now it feels like everyone's just milking content dry there's just no inspiration like if I go on YouTube and I see another times a hundred video I think I'm legitimately gonna kill myself like it's it's not fun it's not fun to be in an environment where there just isn't any inspiration anywhere. Um, the only person I can really give props to is Soundsmith. I mean, I love the guy's content. Um, he's amazing. He found a niche and he's really like working on it. His series is something that's genuinely like in a time where there isn't really much to talk about in TF2. He's finding something to talk about. I feel like I'm not gonna quit the game. I don't think I'm ready to quit the game just yet. I feel like I can still improve, but my incentive to really improve has really, it's just really non-existent right now. Um, I feel like I'm good enough and I really don't feel like I'm gonna get anywhere with this game. My channel so far has really been just something that I do for fun. I never really took it super seriously and ever since I uploaded that TF2 untitled video where it was just sniper frags for matchmaking, that was just a clip dump and then I looked back on it and I thought that it's something that I really just shouldn't have uploaded and I felt like I was kind of just shitting on my own channel because I was uploading things that really weren't inspiring. I know that my Machina is overpowered video kind of made a lot of waves and I've had some people say that hey It's just what every youtuber is talking about now overpowered weapons because there's nothing new I mean, there's nothing new to talk about so of course you're gonna be talking about the old stuff and Fuck like there's just so many videos of that out there I feel like that's another reason why I don't really feel like uploading something where I talk about sniper and improving your sniper aim because there's just countless videos like if you want to get better competitive watch me Mr. Slynn series, like, it's just that simple. There just isn't much there. TF2 has really been milked dry, and 
it just isn't really something that's super fun anymore. Of course, I'm looking forward to the pyro update. And I do want to end this video on a positive note. I still have video ideas, like I still have ideas for the channel, but I think I'm really just going to be trying to upload things at my own pace. If I feel inspired to upload something and I feel like it's worth watching, then of course I'm going to go ahead and do it. But if I'm going to be streaming, probably won't be TF2. Um, I feel like we're at a point where a lot of people can kind of understand where I'm coming from because I've always pushed TF2 on my channel. I've always tried to enjoy the game. And yes, it is a game I still enjoy, but just not in the same capacity. I feel like it took me a longer time to realize this than most people because I was so invested in competitive. But if we're talking about people that play casual and that's all they do, I'd probably, if that was me and I would have never gotten into competitive, I feel like I would have quit the game a year ago or six months ago. Just, it is what it is. I felt like this video was necessary because I don't like keeping people in the dark about what I'm doing. Yes, I'm still alive and I'm trying to work on stuff. The reason most things have been delayed was just I haven't been inspired to. And this is exactly why I haven't been inspired to. Um, I'm going to be taking a break from competitive and just seeing where the wind blows and trying to be more frequent on my channel. I don't know if I'm ever going to get anywhere with this channel, like I'll be honest, but it's still something I very much enjoy doing as a hobby and I feel like I started off as a commentary channel, so that's probably what I'm going to keep doing and if people enjoy these videos, like of course I'm going to keep doing them. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this more casual toned video and uh, these have just been my thoughts on the game and that's what I've been up to. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Faking problems, faking while I'm making dollars, raking while I'm taking inspiration off from shaking holler, make a rappers all but notice all my money problems. Look, I'm just trying to get a damn feature, but I never done original, just covers in a remix. And I don't wanna be the one to get into my feelings, but none of you been paying attention to my ego feed it.